Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Peace be upon you all. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to crochet this citrus mandala or I'll call it uh, doily because I'm going to use it as doily. And uh, this is not my own pattern. This is not even my own idea. I will share the link to the original pattern in the description. Uh, description box so you guys can go and uh, follow the written pattern if you guys are interested in follow written pattern rather the video because sometimes we don't have patience to just sit and follow step by step and all that so you guys can go and follow the pattern there I have already made this one and I'm going to make this one on camera for the sake of video uh, the only difference between this and this is that in this one I used the same yarn all the way to the end. It was not easy to get these fresh or these um, these shades of the uh, especially these shades of the green and um, orange and all that in Denmark. So, but somehow I was I managed to get these. Uh, sorry i still have to weave in the ends on this one um but still i was managed to get as closer as it was shown in the pattern i tried to get the colors as closer to that as i could um this is the yarn i used in this bini it's cotton yarn and um into the 50 meters of the yarn into the 50 meters of the yarn there is 170 meters of the yarn uh, so that you guys have um, some idea about the yardage and thickness of the yarn but I use the same yarn same type of the yarn in my complete mandala or um, doily or whatever you can call it in this one but in this one i improvised a little bit and i ch uh, changed the yarn so that i can get as closer look as i could uh, to the pattern uh, the picture in the pattern the finished picture of the project of uh, in the uh, project in the pattern still mine doesn't look even closer to that because she had she used bottle green color here which I did not have so I just used the yarns I had at home so that I could give the uh, what you call it um, closer look as I could sorry I still have some ends to weave in and I used three millimeter crochet hook and uh, uh, there is just one thing that I would uh, point out is that as you work in the rounds your work gets a little bit curled up or it gets a little bit wobbly but it's completely all right you can just um, what you call it you can fix it when you are finished and you have blocked it and then it, it just works out it's just amazing that uh, what blocking do uh, does to your projects so this is how it looks and it's very easy and simple to make there were the written pattern was not much clear but still it's understandable you guys can understand it easily i'm sure so this is how it looks and um, the you know, what you call it i will show you the diagram of the diameter of this is approximately 12 and a half inches or approximately 13 inches so uh, let's get started and i'm pretty excited to make this one i hardly make any mandala etc so let's get started the starting point of our doily is here in the center and uh, for that i'm going to start up with white color and i will make you can start up with by making magic ring or chain 5 i will make chain 5 first of all i will make slip knot and 
and then I will chain five one two three four and five slip stitch into the first chain and there we have this tiny ring we are going to make all of our stitches into this ring i will make chain two one and two this starting chain two does not count as our first half double crochet now i will make 16 half double crochet into this uh, ring one two three four five six i will make rest of the half double crochets off camera and then i will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet we are going to skip the starting chain too because as i said that does not count as our first half double crochet chain one and make one single crochet into the first stitch like that and then into the next stitch which is this one we are going to make one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet into the same stitch make one single crochet into the next and then one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet single crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat i will make one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next then uh, one single crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet like that and then at the end of this round you should end up with eight single crochets 16 double crochets and eight uh, chain one spaces we have one single crochet here two three four five six seven and eight in between these single crochets we have one double crochet chain one one double crochet now what i will do is that i will cut the yarn because we are going to change the color I am going to join the light yellow color or lemon color you can join it anywhere into any of these chain one spaces join the yarn chain one and make one single crochet into same chain space one single crochet into this uh, on the top of this double crochet like that and now we will make single crochet but we will go down this is the single crochet we made in last round and this is the base of that single crochet we will make this single crochet into that base 
like that and then then make one single crochet on the top of our first double crochet of this uh, set of one double crochet chain one one double crochet this is the first double crochet i am going to make one single crochet on the top of that one single crochet into chain one space one single crochet again into the second uh, double crochet and one single crochet again into the base of this single crochet from the last round this is the base of that we are going to make a single crochet into that repeat this pattern by making one single crochet into the first double crochet one single crochet into the chain one space one single crochet into the second double crochet and one single crochet into the base of this uh, single crochet from the last round which is this here here so repeat this pattern all the way to the end and uh, then i will resume the video again we have one double crochet left to work on so we will make a single crochet on the top of that double crochet and then i will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then i will cut the yarn because i am going to change the color at the end of this round <coughs> at the end of this round you should have 24 single crochets uh, normal plain single crochets and eight these spike uh, single crochet or long single crochets so i will uh, uh, change the color now join the yarn into any of these uh, single crochets right after this long single crochet or spike single crochet this is the next available single crochet so i will attach the yarn into that i'm going to use light um, uh, sorry i'm going to use a yellow color of the yarn like that chain one and then make one back post double crochet into next four stitches first back post uh, post uh, single uh, sorry back loops only single crochet so first one we will make into this stitch we have, where we have joined our yarn then one back post single crochet into next three stitches in total four single crochets one two three and four one single crochet into the back loops of of four uh, cr uh, stitches from the last round then we are going to work a peacock stitch be peacock stitches that you chain three one two and three and then you slip stitch into the first chain like that and your peacock stitches are done make one double uh, one uh, back loop single crochet into next four stitches first back loop single crochet second third and the fourth one and then chain three one two and three slip stitch into the first chain to complete your peacock stitch this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make one back post double crochet into next one two three and four uh, single crochets and then a peacock stitch and then we will repeat the same pattern all the way to the end i will 
complete rest of the round off camera and then I will resume the video again I am at the end of this round and don't forget to make a peacock into the last stitch by making one two three chains and then slip stitching into the first chain and now I will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet like that and now I will cut the yarn because we are going to change the color in next round <coughs> at the end of this round at the end of this, this round you should end up with 32 uh, back post of uh, single crochets and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 peacock stitches so let's resume the next round <coughs> i am going to join the white color <coughs> you can join it in any of these uh, single crochets right after this uh, peacock stitch so what i will do is i will join the white yarn chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet and then I will make a double crochet into next one, two, three, four stitches. First double crochet will be made into the same stitch where we have made uh, three double uh, three chains. So I'm going to make one double crochet into that. <coughs> one double crochet into next three stitches. One, two. three and four one double crochet on the top of all single crochets and then I will chain one and slip stitch into this peacock stitch like that chain one again again and make one single crochet into ne uh, sorry double crochet into next one two three four single crochets one two three and four one double crochet into next four single crochet and then slip stitch inside this peacock stitch like that this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we will make <coughs> one double crochet into next one two three four single crochets and then we will make sorry i forgot to make chain one here and then slip stitch into this peacock chain one again make one double crochet into next one two three four stitches four double crochets chain one slip stitch inside this peacock stitch then make chain one and repeat the pattern all the way to the end I have slip stitched into this peacock stitch and then I have cha made chain one now I will skip this starting chain three and I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet at the end of this round you should end up with 32 uh, double crochets and 16 uh, chain one spaces uh, we will make we made chain one before and after the sets of these uh, four double crochets so let's start our next round 
we are not going to change color in next round we will chain two one and two this starting chain two does not count as our first half double crochet you guys can use it as a first half double crochet but i prefer to i don't prefer it so that's why i will make one half double crochet into the same stitch like that one half double crochet sorry two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet and then second double crochet into the same stitch chain two one and two and then make two double crochets on the top of next double crochet one and two one half double crochet into the next and now what we will do is that we will make single crochet two together into this chain one space and the chain uh, this chain one space i will insert the crochet hook into this chain one space pull up a loop i will not finish this uh, single crochet i will go again into next available chain one space grab the yarn and pull up a loop you have three loops on your crochet hook pull through all of these three loops you can call it single crochet two together or you can call it uh, two single crochet cluster again we are here uh, where the set of four double crochet starts i will make one half double crochet into the first one two double crochets into the next one one and two chain two one and two two half uh, two uh, one half double crochet into this one two double crochets into this one chain two and two two double crochets into the next stitch one and two and then make one single crochet into the next stitch sorry one half double crochet into the next stitch like that and then make a single crochet cluster or two single crochet together into next two chain one spaces insert the crochet hook into this chain one space pull up a loop do it again into next available chain one space pull up a loop you have three loops pull through all these three loops this is the pattern we are going to repeat make one half double crochet into this uh, stay, uh, stitch two half uh, two double crochets into that chain two two double crochets into that one half double crochet into that and then two single crochet together between uh, these uh, this chain one space and this chain one space repeat this pattern all the way to the end skip starting chain two and slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet and now i will cut the yarn because we are going to change the color at the end of this round you should end up with 16 um, half double crochets and uh, 32 double crochets and eight these chain two spaces and eight these uh, cluster single crochets or single crochet two together 
now we are going to join a light orange color you can join the yarn into any of these cluster single crochet or into this uh, simple uh, single crochet and then <coughs> make chain four one two three and four this starting uh, chain four does not count as our first uh, stitch wrap the yarn twice around your crochet hook and make a treble crochet into this uh, single crochet pull through first two loops and then second two loops and then third two loops first treble crochet is made repeat it seven more times make seven more treble crochets one two and three I will show once more slowly and then I will uh, speed it a little bit up like that you have four loops on your crochet hook pull through first two loops second two loops and third three uh, two loops three treble crochets are completed and then I will make five more treble crochets into the same chain, uh, single crochet fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one and eighth one in total I made one two three four five six seven eight treble crochets and then make one single crochet into this chain two space like that then again wrap the yarn twice around your crochet hook this is the top of the single crochet from the last round we are going to work eight treble crochets into that one two three four five six seven and eight eight treble crochets into this uh, single crochet from the last round and then make a single crochet into this chain one uh, chain two space repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making eight double cro uh, treble crochets into this single crochet and then one single crochet into this chain two space all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first treble crochet we are going to skip this starting chain four so slip stitch on the top of that and then we are going to cut the yarn because we are going to change the color at the end of this round you should end up with 64 treble crochets and um, 8 single crochets so let's start our next round join the uh, orange color yarn into any of these uh, chain two spaces from the one round below this is where we have made our um, single crochet from the last round this is the base of our single crochet so i am going to make a single crochet into that join chain one and then make a single crochet into same chain space chain one and then make one half double crochet 
into each of next eight treble crochets what we are going to make into back loops only first half double crochet into the back loop second second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth one back post half double crochet into eight uh, treble crochets chain one and make a single crochet into this chain two space from the one round below chain one and make one back post uh, uh, sorry one uh, half double crochet into back loops only into next eight treble crochets one two three four five six seven and eight chain one and one single crochet into this chain two space from the one round below chain one repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one back loop half double crochet into next eight stitches chain one and then one single crochet into this chain two space from the one round below all the way to the end I have completed last set of eight half double crochets. I have chain one. Now I will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then I will cut the yarn because we are going to change our color in next round. At the end of this round, you should end up with 64 half double crochets and uh, 16 uh, chain one spaces and eight uh, single crochets so this is how it looks right now it's okay if your work is curling up a little bit because it will be okay when you will um, block uh, uh, your doily at the end when it's all completed then it will be okay all these curling up will be flattened down so let's work on our next stitch i am going to join my dark color uh, dark green color or teal color and we are going to join into any of these single crochets chain three one two three this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so i will make two double crochets together into this into same stitch pull through just first two loops leave rest of two loops unworked wrap the yarn around your crochet hook again insert into the same uh, single crochet pull through first two loops second two loops and third two loops you can call this stitch uh, to double crochet two together or double crochet two double crochet cluster and then make chain two one and two and then make one more two double crochet uh, two, uh, two double crochet cluster like that you have three loops on your crochet hook pull through first two leaving 
the these two loops unworked and then insert the uh, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the yarn insert the crochet hook into the same uh, stitch you have four loops on your crochet hook pull through first two loops second two loops and third two loops are two cluster uh, two double crochet cluster stitches we have made two and then we have separ separated them with chain two and then make chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight and then skip all of these stitches all of these half double crochets from the last round and then make repeat this uh, pattern into this single crochet by making two single uh, two double crochets together one and two double crochets together chain two one and two and again two double crochets together into the same single crochet like that again chain eight one two three four five six seven eight and repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one uh, double, uh, two double cro crochet cluster or two double crochet two to uh, double crochet two together chain two double crochet two together chain eight and repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first uh, double crochet cluster <coughs> it looks like curled up and wobbly but don't worry it will work out later at the end of this round you should end up with 16 uh, these two double crochet together are 16 double crochet clusters and eight chain eight spaces and eight chain two space in the pattern it asks to make chain 10 here but i made chain eight instead because when I made chain 10 in this one, it get a little bit too uh, bigger. So that's why I'm going to improvise it a little bit. And uh, now I will cut the yarn and I will uh, resume the video when we are going to work on our next round. Join the light, uh, join the, what you call it? join the light lime green color into any of these uh, chain two spaces in between these uh, a double crochet cluster and then make chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so i am going to make seven double crochets into this chain two space one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six seven double crochets and then eight single crochets into this uh, chain eight space one two three four five six seven and eight 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सिंगल क्रोशेज स्किप दिस डबल क्रोशे क्लस्टर एंड देन इन टू दिस चेन टू मेक सेवन डबल क्रोशेज अगेन वन crochets and then eight single crochets into this eight uh, chain eight one two three four five seven and eight one two three four five six seven eight single crochets and then again seven double crochets into this chain two space one two This is the pattern we are going to repeat. We will make eight single crochets into this eight chain eight space, seven double crochets into chain two space, all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet. I am going to skip this starting chain three, and then I will cut the yarn because we are going to change the color in next round. at the end of this round you should end up with 56 uh, double crochets and 80 uh, sorry 64 uh, single crochets 56 double crochet and 64 single crochets so let's get started on uh, working our next round now i am going to join this color this is lighter than this uh, teal color and a little bit darker than these uh, mint green color so you can join it in any of these um, uh, stitches you can join it here or you can join it here i'm going to join into the first uh, double crochet of the set of seven double crochets so i'm going to join by inserting the hook on, into the back loop only grabbing the yarn chain one and then make one back loop single crochet into this and then back loop single crochet into the rest of uh, double crochets one two three four Six and seven. One single crochet in uh, one uh, back loop single crochet into all of these double crochets. We should end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochets into back loops only. Now make one single crochet into the back loops of next eight single crochet. One, two, three. Four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Repeat this pattern all the way to the end <clears throat> by making one back loop single crochet into seven double crochets, one back loop single crochet into next eight uh, single crochets. You are making one back loop single crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color. You can join it anywhere. I am going to join into the first single crochet that is made on the top of first double crochet in last round. I am going to join in back loops only like that because we are going to make back loops uh, stitches like that chain one make back loop single crochet into one two three four five six and seven one back loop single crochet into one two three four five six seven single crochets now we are going to make front post double crochet into the round nine into this double crochet we made in round nine we are going to make front post double crochet into that like that and then make you we are not going to skip any stitches we are going to next available single crochet in the background and we will make back loop single crochet into next eight single crochets one two Once again front post double crochet around the post of this double crochet from the ninth round like that and then repeat the pattern this is the pattern we are going to repeat make back post single crochet into next one two three four five six seven single crochets then make a front post double crochet into this stitch uh, and then one single crochet into next eight stitches and then a front post double crochet into this um, double crochet all of our single crochets are going to be back loops only i will make rest of the round off camera and then i will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change our color again join the light yellow or uh, lemon color yarn into any of these uh, front post double crochets we made and then but after the eight uh, single crochets there are eight single crochets and there are seven single crochets we are going to join into the one after the eight single crochets on the top of that uh, double crochet we are going to join like that chain three one two three and this starting chain does not count as our first double crochet 
I will make seven double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now skip next three double crochets. One, two, three, into the fourth one or the central one, make a single crochet. Skip next three, one, two, three, and on the top of our next double crochet front post double crochet from the last round we are going to make seven double crochets again one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six seven double crochets skip next one two three single crochets and skip next three single crochets one two three and make a single crochet into next two stitches one and two skip three single crochets and then make seven double crochet into the next one two three four five six seven skip next three double cro uh, single crochets and then one two three and into the fourth one or the central one make one single crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat make seven double crochets into this double crochet skip three single crochet make a single crochet into into the central one skip three single crochets and make uh, seven uh, double crochets on the top of this double crochet skip three stitches and make one single crochet into each of next two single crochets skip three double uh, single crochet and then make seven double crochets into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skipping this starting chain three and slip stitching on the top of starting chain three sorry double first double crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color join the yarn into any of uh, these double crochets after uh, two single crochets the first double crochet after these two single crochets we made and join into back loops only chain one and make one single crochet into these uh, double crochets one two three four five six and seven one single crochet into one two three four five six seven double crochets now we are going to make a single crochet we are going to make a spike single crochet we will go little bit down 
this is the single crochet from the last round and round and this is the base of that single crochet we will make a single crochet into the base of that single crochet like that and then make one single crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven one single crochet in uh, spike single crochet into next two single crochets we are going to go a little bit down here in, on, into the bases of these single crochets and make a single crochet into first single crochet and one single crochet into to the base of next single crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat <coughs> we will make a single crochet back loop single crochet into next seven double crochets then a spike single crochet which we will make into the base of this single crochet from the last round one single crochet into the back loops of next seven double crochet one single crochet spike single crochets into the base of next two single crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color in next round join the yarn into any of these uh, spike single crochets the where we have made one spike single crochet join the dark green yarn on the top of that chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet now what we are going to do is we are going to make two double crochet together or two double crochet cluster by making unfinished double crochet and then one more double crochet into the same stitch now wrap through first two loops second two loops and third two loops make chain two one and two and make one more two double crochet cluster into the same stitch or double two double crochet together one and two one two and three chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight skip all of these single crochets and then make we are not going to work on the top of these uh, two spike uh, single crochets we are going to work in between them we are going to work this stitch here so we are going to insert the crochet hook in between these two uh, uh, spike single crochets grab the yarn pull through just first first two loops insert the crochet hook again into the same gap pull through first two loops second two loops and third two loops chain two one and two and make one more two double crochet cluster into the same stitch one and two like that chain eight again one two three 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट स्कीप ऑल ऑफ दीज सिंगल क्रोशेज एंड इन टू दिस पाइक सिंगल क्रोशे मेक दीज स्टिचेज अगेन मेक टू डबल क्रोशेज टूगेदर वन एंड टू चेन टू वन एंड टू एंड टू मोर डबल क्रोशे टूगेदर इन टू द सेम स्टेज लाइक दैट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिपीट दिस पैटर्न वी आर गोइंग टू रिपीट दिस पैटर्न by making chain 8 and then making two double crochet uh, together chain 2 two, two double crochet together into between these two um, spike double crochets then make chain 8 and make one uh, two double crochet together chain 2 two, two double crochets together then make chain 8 this is the pattern we are going to repeat we are going to make Eight chains between these two cluster, um, two double crochet cluster stitches, and we are going to repeat this all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first uh, double crochet cluster, and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color in next round. join the light uh, or just orange uh, color yarn into any of these chain two spaces in between these uh, double crochet clusters and make chain 3 1 2 3 this starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet we are going to make seven double crochets into the same chain two space 7 double crochets if we exclude starting chain 3 then we are going to make 6 single crochets into this chain 8 space 1 and 6 One, two, three, four, five, six single crochets into this chain eight space. Again, we will skip all the stitches and we will go directly into this chain two space and make seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven double crochets. Six single crochets into this chain eight space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end. Seven double crochets into this chain two space. Six single crochets into this chain eight space all the way to the end. Skip starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then cut the yarn. Join the darker orange or in this in this case I have little bit brownish yarn. 
join that into any of these uh, double crochets or into single crochets it doesn't matter but into the back loop only make chain one and make one single crochet into each and every stitch one two three four five six and seven one single uh, back loop single crochet into seven double crochets and then we are going to make one back loop single crochets crochet into next six single crochets two three four five and six repeat this pattern all the way to the end you will make simply one back loop single crochet into each uh, double crochet and single crochet slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet <coughs> and then cut the yarn because we are going to change to white color in our next round it's okay if your work is a little bit wobbly or it if it's a little bit curled up it will flatten out later on when we will block it then um, it will look like this so it's completely all right if your work is a little bit curly and it's not even and all that it's okay it will work out later on when we have blocked it join the yarn into any of these single crochets you can join it anywhere i am going to join into the first single crochet we made on the first double crochet uh, uh, first double crochet of the set of seven double crochets we made single crochet on the top of that this is first single crochet i am going to join in back loop only and i will make chain one and make one single crochet into same single crochet in back loop only and one single crochet into next one two three four five six and seven one back loop only single crochet into seven single crochets now we will go little bit down and i think this was round number 15 and we are going to make a front post double crochet in around the post of that double crochet like that don't skip any stitch this is next available single crochet make a back loop single crochet into that and back loop single crochet into next one two three four five and six one back loop single crochet into next one two three four five six stitches again we are going to make a front post double crochet in around the post of this double crochet from round number i think it was round number 15 like that repeat this pattern by making one back loop single crochet into next seven single crochet then one front post double crochet around the post of this double crochet one back loop single crochet into next six single crochets then one front post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then <coughs> cut the yarn because we are going to change color in next round like that 
join the light lime green yarn into any of the first here are six single crochets and here are seven single crochets we are going to join into the first single crochet of the set of six single crochets we are going to join there and into both loops chain one and make one single crochet into next six stitches one single crochet into the same stitch where we have joined one two three four five and six our next stitch is the top of our front post double crochet we made in last round what we are going to do now is that we are going to skip four stitches one two three four and into the next one we are going to make one double crochet chain one we are going to repeat this one double crochet chain one five more times we have made one so we are going to make five more times two three four five and six and six one double crochet chain one six times one two three four five six and we have already made chain one we will make one more double crochet into this like that so in total I have one uh, one two three four five six seven double crochets and one two three four five and six um, chain one spaces now what we are going to do is we are going to skip next four stitches which includes one two three single crochet and the fourth one is our front post double crochet from the last round make one single crochet into next six stitches one two three four five and six skip next four stitches one two three four and into the fifth one i'm going to make one double crochet chain one six times once two three four five and six and now one more double crochet into the same stitch this is the pattern we are going to repeat you should have seven uh, double crochets and six chain one spaces um, here and then you are going to skip next four stitches one two three four stitches make one single crochet into next one two three four five six single crochets skip next four stitches one two three four and then 
make this um, shell stitch kind of uh, stitch here this is the pattern you are going to repeat all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color into lime green color this is light lime green color light lime green color we are going to change it to lime green color in next round join your lime green color yarn into any of these uh, second double crochet this is first double crochet and then chain one and this is the second double crochet we are going to join in both loops chain one and make one single crochet into that double crochet one single crochet into next chain one space repeat it for one two three and four times and then one single crochet into second last double crochet like that we started into the second double crochet we made one single crochet in on the top of that double crochet one single crochet into chain one space we repeated it once twice three four times and then we made one single crochet on the top of our second last uh, double crochet now what we are going to do is that we are going to make chain two one and two we will skip next chain one space and this double crochet we will skip two single crochets and into the third one we are going to slip stitch like that chain three one two three and slip stitch into next available single crochet like that now skip next two single crochets first double crochet and first chain one space and then make our single crochet on the top of next double crochet and one single crochet into chain one space repeat that total four times one two three and four so we have total eight single crochets right now we will make a single crochet in on the top of second last double crochet then we will skip rest of stitches here we will skip next two single crochet and we will slip stitch into the next single crochet chain three one two three slip stitch into the next like that this is the <coughs> this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will skip next two single crochets <coughs> next two single crochets first double crochet first chain one space and then make a single crochet on the top of first single crochet into the second Mm, double crochet single crochet into the chain one space repeat that a, a four times and then make a single crochet on the top of next uh, or second last double crochet chain two skip sorry i forgot to make chain two here after making chain three and slip stitching into the next stitch make chain two one and two skip 
these two double crochets first uh, double uh, these two single crochets double crochet chain one and then make a single crochet on the top of next double crochet and into the chains one space repeat that four times one two three and four and then one single crochet on the top of second last double crochet skip next chain one space next double crochet next two single crochet and then slip stitch into next single crochet one two three chain three and slip stitch into the next sorry i again forgot to make chain two one and two skip next two single crochet slip stitch into the next chain three one two three and slip stitch into the next that's it you are going to may start in the second double crochet and uh, make single crochet into that and into the chain one space four times and then make a single crochet on the top of last uh, second last double crochet chain 2 skip next two single crochets slip stitch into the next chain 3 slip stitch into, into the next chain 2 skip two uh, single crochets one double crochet one chain one space and repeat all the way to the end this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here slip stitch into our first single crochet and then cut the yarn because we are going to change the color in next round join your dark green or teal or whatever shade of uh, yarn you have into any of these chain three spaces chain three one two three and this, this chain 3 does not count as your first double crochet we are going to make two uh, two double crochet clusters twice one double crochet half finished and then pull through first three two loops second two loops and third two loops and then chain two one and two make this cluster once more two double crochet together once more and chain two two double crochet to get crochets together once more one and two like that now we will skip rest of the chains and all of that skip first single crochet and make one back loop single crochet into next seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven skip last single crochet and these chain uh, two and make two uh, double crochet together chain two twice and then two double crochet together uh, again into the same chain three space so make Two double crochet together once chain two two double crochet together one chain two and once again two double crochets together like that skip these chain spaces chain two space and first single crochet and make back loop single crochet 
into next seven single crochets two three four five six and seven this is the uh, pattern we are going to repeat we will we will skip next single crochet and make two double crochet cluster chain two twice and then one more double crochet cluster two double crochet cluster into that skip next these chains and skip first single crochet make one back post single crochet into next seven single crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our <coughs> first cluster stitch now chain one and we will go into this chain two space and we will make a single crochet into that <coughs> one half double crochet and one double crochet into the same chain two space like that and then a peacock stitch we will make one two three chains and slip stitch into the first chain now we will go direct into the next chain two space this one and we will make a double crochet half double crochet and one single crochet skip these stitches and go directly to first available single crochet and make a single crochet into both loops into next one two three four five six and seven single crochets now skip first cluster stitch and work into first available chain two space make one single crochet one double crochet uh, sorry one half double crochet and one double crochet chain three one two three slip stitch into the first chain make into the next chain two space make one double crochet one half double crochet and one single crochet skip next cluster stitch and make one single crochet into both loop loops into next one two three four five six and seven stitches repeat this pattern all the way to the end go directly into next chain two space one single crochet one half double crochet one double crochet peacock stitch and then one double crochet one half double crochet one single crochet into next chain two space one single crochet into next seven single crochet repeat all the way to the end and then slip stitch into first single crochet and then cut the yarn and then i will do rest of the process off camera because i am going to block this for blocking i'm going to soak it in the water for maybe approximately half hour or 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then i will just simply press i'm not going to ring it i will just simply press to get the, uh, the water out of it as much as i can and then i lay um, lay it flat on a flat surface and then i will let it get dry overnight and then i will resume the video again